going on. So some people have an issue that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that said that he backtracked with what he said. Initially, he said that Oscar Robinson was the greatest point guard. Then he turned around and said Magic Johnson was. Some people think that he's getting NBA peer pressure. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Now, he gave Steph Curry some love. You can't go wrong with either one. I don't have a problem with it at all. You know why I, I say you can give Steph Curry his due? I got no problem with that. But Magic Johnson might be the GOAT player. Oscar Robinson could be. Like, they, to me, changed the totality of the game in different ways because they did it all the way around. So the more versatile you are, I'm going to give you more juice. You can give a guy a label as the best at something. But when a cat can beat you in different ways, how are you going to argue against that? And Oscar Robinson is the link between Jordan and LeBron, if you will, for his size, his strength. Is, and no three-point line, physical contact, that guy was ahead of the curve. His triple-double record lasted 40-plus years until Russell Westbrook came along. Think about that. Think about how he did. And when he had a great center in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he won. Talent, you always have to have a one-two punch. He's probably the most uh, disrespected all-time great player ever as far as I'm concerned because Oscar Robinson never gets his due. He never gets his fair due. Well, he's too black. He spoke out on issues. He started free agency. He started the marketing for players. That man was a trailblazer. To me, he should have been the first black commissioner. But the NBA is racist too. That's a, I talk about the NFL, but the NBA ain't that far behind. And don't let everybody on the on the field fool you. How many black owners have you had? Okay, people really calling the shots. See, don't get me started. Big Magic Johnson, for Magic was my favorite player watching, and I love watching him and Bird back in the day. I got stories for days on that. You know, an incredible way to do because he was the first guy I saw who could score only two points and wax you. Because he beat you in different ways and in different positions. And to me, it's an insult when he isn't held higher all the time. Because, you know, don't let the grin and the showtime and all that fool you. That man beat you in different ways. That versatility was incredible, the way he could beat you. And he could have done more as a score. Believe that. People just don't know how he was, you know. But 6'9 point guard, come on now. Play multiple positions, lead breaks, come on now. But I'm not going to be hating on Kareem. Kareem, you, listen, if you got two of the greatest players ever and you got a debate and they were part of your championship runs and your success story, you know, I'm not going to hold it against them. But I do know that Magic got more sway in the media than the big O. And things ain't always as fair. Because Oscar Robinson, much as I got respect for Magic and I'm glad he's alive, etc., he shuffles his feet. Oscar Robinson never shuffles his feet. Pretty white folks, just saying. And that's not hating no on Magic. Or magic got that grin and crossed over. However, the big old, there was no grin and no shucking. He told you, like, that's why they don't mess with him. Sometimes when you see certain players that don't get the attention they deserve and they were great, it's a lot because they hated them for their blackness, just like Kareem. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit. If you like, and I'm out. Peace.